a YouTube opinionative review here and as promised yesterday or earlier this morning when I posted a video on how to install Preware on your HP touchpad I said I was going to do a video on how to speed up your HP touchpad and this is the video there's actually two ways to speed up your HP touchpad now I'm going to be doing two videos because the second process is it's kind of long so I don't want to put them in one video this one is short the video will be short but you will have to install a couple of stuff from preware now obviously the first thing you have to do your device has to have preware on it if you don't have preware on your device I did a video on that I link everything you guys already know a link in the description to an in-depth post and this post is actually that in-depth post this is the post right here I already done the post it's on my website I'll have this link down in the description and as you can see hey tells you the first thing you need to do is have preware installed on your device you can click here if you want to and it'll take you to that post if you don't but if you already have preware installed then you can just proceed so basically for this method all you're gonna have to do is install a couple patches it's about uh, eight patches and they speed up your device a whole lot trust me you're gonna know the, dif the difference the second way is by overclocking your device and I'll talk more about that when I get to that post this is also the post hey I already did that one also and when I'm doing the video for that I'll talk more about that but let's just stick to this one which is not overclocking when you overclock your processor and turn it up that voids your warranty with HP this one doesn't void your warranty with HP but I doubt any of us have a have warranties since th this product was discontinued but yeah so let's just jump right into it these are the steps here basically what you have to do is go on your device and you're gonna go into preware <coughs> and you're gonna go and install these patches as you can see I have I have them listed right here all the patches these ones at the bottom they are all optional these last four patches they're optional you don't have to install these and I have a brief description of what each patch does right here you can see a brief description and when you when you search for the patch inside preware as I'm gonna show you now on my device I'll go into available packages and then I'm gonna hit patch and then I'm gonna just go and hit all when you locate a patch in preware you can also see what what the patch does so let me just look for the first patch I uninstall it and I'm gonna reinstall it to show you guys so this is it right here which is muffle system login and it tells you right here what it does by default web OS tends to log pretty much everything this patch turns login down so that it only logs errors or worse so yeah that's basically what slows down this device it has so much thing running in the background that's logging everything like so much of them that it just slows the device down and it's not needed so most of these patches basically disable all of that logging which isn't needed and it just logs what's important what's really important so these are the patches this is the first one let me just install it for you guys you just hit the install button it's super fast and then it's gonna prompt you to do a lunar restart last night I, I explained what a lunar restart is It's basically like a respring when you install a tweak from CD and you have to respring that's basically what a lunar restart is it's like a minor reboot so all you gotta do is you can click later or you can click yes if you have more than one patch to install like you most likely have to with all these patches you can just select later and then you install all the patches then you just hit OK when you're finished or you can lunar restart with an extra patch that I have down at the bottom it gives you extra options when you hold down the power button so these are all the patches these at the bottom these last four they are optional you don't have to install these last four as you can see I have optional right here which one this one is add block you have remove tap ripple when you touch the screen that stupid ripple I disable that this is increased touch sensitivity this basically speeds up scrolling and this last one is the advanced reset options as you can see I have a little picture of what it looks like so you can lunar restart from here device restart shutdown etc etc you get more power options so that's basically it for this video by installing these patches it speeds up your device dramatically trust me you don't even have to overclock your 
your processor after this. You can use this method and don't even have to do the second method. I only did the overclocking method because I was doing it for the video. I didn't really notice a big, big difference, but it's up to you. So I have both methods done on my device. It's up to you if you want to do both methods. It's either or, or you can do two of them. They're both safe. One just voids your warranty and one doesn't. And I have more information on the overclocking over on that side for that post. So this one is just covering speeding up your HP touchpad without overclocking. And it works after you finish these steps and install all of these and do a lunar reboot or re a lunar restart you'll see how fast your device is after that so that's basically it for this video guys i'll put an annotation on this video linking to the other video for overclocking you can check out both videos and decide which one you want to do with that being said please rate comment subscribe have a nice day